Blair of the Mounties, the story of the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. We present the 21st episode in Blair of the Mounties. Our story again goes back to the early days of the Yukon mining camps, as related to Inspector Blair's old friend, Angus McGregor, over the chessboard. I, your move, Angus. <laughs> uh, what is the use, Inspector? <laughs> I mind the day when you didn't can a queen for your castle. <laughs> but no, I haven't won a game for years. <laughs> this heat of mine is getting all foggy, I'm thinking. <laughs> What about the story, laddie? I'm afraid I'm just about run out of stories, Angus. <laughs> Did I ever tell you about the Goose Lake robbery? No, I didn't remember it, only we. You remember the gold strike up on the fishing river in the spring of 99? Aye, I remember it wheel. It didn't last long. No, but they took out quite a bit of gold that year. Goose Lake was the staging camp. The express shipments used to lay overnight in the safe, reach the landing next day. The robbery happened while I was sergeant at the landing. Ten thousand dollars worth of dust cleaned out one night. Did the blow the safe? No, it was opened by an expert. Wasn't much of a safe uh, as they come nowadays. Well, let's hear the story, laddie. All right, here we go, Angus. Hello, Mike. Anybody special on the boat? Oh, he got a. That's the funniest looking fellow I've seen in a blue moon. Huh? Comes from your own country, too, I'm thinking. What's funny about him? Well, no. No offense, no, Sergeant. There's funny people in every country, even in old Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> but this fellow is the limit. He's going up to Goose Lake for the hunting, and he ought to see the clothes on him. Sportsman, eh? <laughs> I suppose so. He has a pile of baggage along, and enough guns to start the war. Did you check up his permits? Oh, sure, he's coming over. Wants to talk to you. Wish now, here he is, be done. Uh, good evening, gentlemen. Come in. Come in with you, Mr... Let's see now. Uh, what did you say your name was? Oh, Vandela is the name. Oh, sure. Shake hands with Mr. Van Dolan, Sergeant. Oh, uh, <laughs> how do you do, Sergeant? Uh, do? I, uh, I was uh, just going up to Goose Lake for a little spot of shooting, don't you know? I see. Got your permits? I'd like to look them over. Very Jove. Uh, oh, yes, yes. There you are, Sergeant. Thanks. <laughs> so you're going shooting, Mr. Van Dolan, are you? Have you had any experience now? Experience? Oh, my dear fellow, oh, what a question. Uh, uh, hang it all, experience. Uh, oh, I see. Why do you ask? Well, I'm a pretty good shot myself now. Tell me now, did you ever do any ramrod shooting? Ramrod shooting? My dear fellow, I never even heard of it. There you are now. Well, I'll tell you. Back in County Clare, we used to load up the old blunderbuss with a big charge of powder and one of them old-fashioned ramrods. Then I'd go out and lay by the side of the lake. And all I had to do was to get a couple of three ducks in line yes. and then... Uh, cut it out, Ravity. All right, Mr. Vandler. The permits are all in order. Hope you have some good sport. Oh, thank you so much, Sergeant. Oh, Ravity, take this gentleman over to the hotel and see they give him a good room, will you? Okay, Sergeant. This way, Mr. Van Dooligan. Now, as I was telling you, this here ramrod shooting is... Oh, 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 I see, my dog. Oh, uh, Bad sir. Tiny one ringing up at this time of night. Hello. What is it, Ravity? It's just what I'm trying to find out. Hello. Sure, I'm waiting myself. Well, put me through then. Hello? Who's that? Oh, Goose Lake office. Yes? Hello? Oh, is that yourself, Maggie? And what the devil are you wanting at this time of night? You're not after having another baby, are you? What? You want a parson? Huh? Oh, you want the sergeant. And why the devil don't you say so? Here you are, Sergeant. It's you that want him. All right. Hello? Oh, yes, Maggie. Put him on. Hello, Slim. What is it? The safe? Somebody robbed the safe? What do you mean? Oh, express stuff, eh? How much? Ten thousand, eh? What? Got away? Wounded? Who shot him? What? Oh, all right. We'll be up there by noon. Keep everybody out of that office. Don't touch anything. All right. Goodbye. What is it, Sergeant? Somebody robbed the safe at Goose Lake. Got away with 10,000 in gold dust. The robber was wounded. Who shot him? Why, it is your friend Vandela, the sportsman. Oh, this pussy? I'll not believe Why it. Why not? Well, sure, sure, he couldn't do the house if he was inside of it. Hasn't he been up there three weeks now, bombarding away at the ducks from morning till night? And he never touched a feather. Him shoot a burglar, is it? 
<laughs> Must spend a lot of money for cartridges. I'll be dead. He has an outfit and lords him himself. I believe he gets more kick out of that than the shooting. Well, get into your clothes and get the horses. We've got to get up there right away. Oh, sure, I thought as much. Bad sister. to it. Why didn't I stick to farming when I did this thing? I tell you, I, I saw this man working at the seat. Uh, drawing my revolver, uh, I called upon him to surrender. Oh, <laughs> the boy, the boy, uh, look out, look out, here's the cops. Come on, now, clear out with you, the whole lot of you. Oh, gee, why, why can't we stick around here? Hello, Rafferty. What's doing? Well, yo, Percy, come in. Come in, will you? Oh, certainly, certainly, my dear old chap. Oh, good morning, Sergeant. So we meet again, as they say in the jolly old storybooks, what? Uh, you know, it's funny that I, I was just uh, going to say to you, uh, by Jove... Uh, uh, I, look here, what do you know about this robbery? Uh, well, oh, yes, yes, quite so, quite so, the robbery. Uh. <laughs> quite an exciting affair, I assure you, Sergeant. As I was saying, uh, every crime, don't wait you know, has wait wait well, How did you come to be here when the thing happened? Uh, my, my dear fellow, you see, I sleep almost directly above, oh. hearing a noise in the night. I picked up my revolver and I crept to quietly downstairs. What was my surprise to see a man working at the well, What did you do? Well, uh, pointing my gun at him, I called upon him to surrender. <laughs> Instead of obeying my command, he threw a chair at me. Uh, when I got to my feet again, the man had disappeared. You shot at this fellow? Uh, well, uh, oh, to be quite truthful, Sergeant, my revolver went off. In the excitement, uh, apparently the man was hit. Uh, there were blood spots on the floor. Happy <laughs> death. I thought it was an exit. All right, wait a minute. Can you describe this man? Well, really, Sergeant, I, I couldn't say precisely. He seemed to be rather a small sort of chappy, uh, but it was so dark, you see. Uh, all right, Percy. Thanks very much. I'll see you later. Delighted to be of any assistance, my dear fellow. Here he is, boys. Here he is, boys. We picked him up in the swamp. Uh, they got that fellow, Sergeant. He shot through the arm. All right. Well... What's your name? Kalinsky, Pete Kalinsky. Where's the stuff you got out of that safe? Where is it? Say, I'd like to know myself. Come on, where is it? Say, listen. I don't know anything about this. Oh, no? Just shot yourself by accident, I suppose. Come on, Kalinsky. We have a witness who saw you at that safe last night. Sure, that's okay. I was here, but I didn't get no dust. What? Sure. Oh, what's the use of stalling? I ain't got it. Gee, three weeks I put in framing this job, and all I get is the slug through the arm. Can you beat it? Hold on. You mean to say you didn't open that safe? Sure I opened it. But I'm telling you, there was nothing in there. I'll be good. That's a good one. Do you expect anybody to believe that? Well, ah, suit yourself. You got me, ain't you? You know what happened. I just got the safe open when a guy busts in on me with a gun. I throws a chair at him, see? And he gets me through the arm. Can you beat it? What do you think, Sergeant? Oh, it might be true. Anyhow, we'll take you along, Kalinsky. I'm warning you, if we find out that you got that stuff, it's going to be a lot tougher for you. So if you have anything else to say, you'd better talk now. I tell you, I ain't got it. Hello, Rafferty. Any news? Ah, uh, devil a bit. I'm thinking we'll never see that stuff, Sergeant. Looks like it. Did you see the inspector up at Fishing River? Sure. He has four men on. They're combing the whole place and not a sign. Uh, it's his theory that Kalinsky had a partner who headed back to the claims with that dust. It's mighty little chance to get it, if that's the case. Well, it's a nice black eye for us, Rafferty. The express company and the insurance people are howling their heads off. They've had to put up the money to the owners of that uh, stuff, of course. Well, the inspector told me to remind you that everything coming down to the landing has to be searched until further on. Gosh, don't we know that? Any news from Goose Lake? Not a thing. Did you see your friend Percy up there? <laughs> sure I did. Oh, he's a great lad, is Percy. <laughs> Still blazing away at them ducks. They have the time of his life. We that it sounds like a battle when he's out there shooting. Yes, he's a persevering chap. He is that. Goes out with a sack full of cartridges and blazes away for an hour or two, and then comes back in and loads up another lot, and out he goes again. Doesn't he ever get anything? Well, <laughs> now and then. He, he knocked over a big Canada goose the other day, and the whole population of Goose Lake had a celebration. <laughs> Three drinks for the crowd and Percy making speeches all over the place. <laughs> Did he say anything about the robbery? Did he? Oh, he dead. He's full of theories. Let's see. Get that, Rafferty. Hello? Who is it? Who? Oh, good evening to you, Slim. What's the trouble now? What? Hold on there now. Where did you find out? What is it, Rafferty? Hold on, Sergeant. Oh, be dead. This is funny. Hello, Slim. Who found it? What? Oh, Percy, you say. Oh, well, no. 
That's a funny one. Oh, and listen, Slim. If you change your mind about selling that bull terrier, you let me know. Yeah. Hold on now, Sergeant. It's nothing now. Well, give me that phone, Rafferty. Goodbye, Slim, me boy. Rafferty, what's that message? Ah, be dead. That's a swear one. Our old friend Percy's in the limelight again. What was that message? Well, Percy was out fishing this afternoon, and he hooked onto something and broke the tackle. The fellow in the boat with him was curious, so they dragged around a bit with a boat hook, and he fetched up a bundle of canvas sacks, the ones that had the gold in them, and they were sunk in the lake. Good Lord, that's a funny one. We have to get up there in the morning. Well, Percy's bringing down the evidence. He's going out on tomorrow's boat. Says the ducks is moving south. I see. All right, we'll talk to him in the morning. Uh, top of the morning to you, Percy. Did you bring them sacks? Yes, uh, well, uh, oh, 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 really, really, it's my dear old friend Rafferty. The sergeant, too. Okay. Here we are. Yes, yes, I brought the evidence along. I see, sergeant, we're getting on. What? <laughs> getting on, is it? Sure, no, that's right. All we need now is the gold and the man that stole it. We did. And so you're leaving us, huh? Yes, my dear boy. Uh, frightfully sorry and all that sort of rot, don't you know? I'd really like to stay and uh, help you with this jolly old robbery. Where's your baggage, Percy? Baggage, my dear fellow? Yes, you see, we have to search all baggage since that robbery. Yes. It's just a matter of form, you know. Oh, certainly, my dear chap. Everything's here. Five gun cases, four suitcases, and uh, three cases of ammunition. <laughs> all right, Mike, take a look over it. I'll have to get a statement for you about finding those sacks, Percy. Oh, certainly, old boy. Most extraordinary thing. Uh, broke my best rod, too. Started fishing around with the boat hook, uh, don't you know, and there were the jolly old sacks. I see. Well, they're not much use without the gold, of course. Everything all right? The baggage, gravity? Sure. Nothing but clothes and guns and cartridges. All right, Percy. I'll give you a lift with your boxes down to the boat. Oh, please don't trouble, dear old boy. Uh, there's a man coming down from the hotel. Ah, sure, it's no trouble. Give me a halter, one of them boxes. Oh. Oh, what the devil now? That's a heavy box. Give it a high stand to me shoulder, Sergeant. Hold on. Good Lord. Why didn't I think of that before? Open that box, Ravity. Hey? Give me one of those cartridges. Look out. Grab that yeah, hold, hold, hold still there now, Percy, me boy. I'll take that elegant little gun now. You care. I protest against this interference. Don't touch those cartridges. Give me a knife, Ravity. There they are, Sergeant. Hold still now, Percy. Ah. Cartridges, eh? Huh. There's three ounces of gold dust in this one if there's a grain. All right. Bring him along, Ravity. Well, well, Percy, me boy. You certainly brought down the evidence. You have heard episode 21 in the dramatic series, Blair of the Mounties. Tune in for the next episode in this series, entitled The Star Ruby of Talangor.